one is Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and you can tell by the title we are doing Zig Clean Color Dot Swatches. Now, I have one more set of these coming. It will be here in a couple of days, so I will include that in this video. But for right now, I am super excited. I just got this new set of the single dot ones. There are six colors, and they are just like these beautiful muted neutral florally type of colors and I'm super psyched so I've got them here I already took them out and dotted them for my February spending video because they were the last thing I purchased in February for my own budget but I am super excited I've got the 12 colors here I've got the other six color single dot ones. I've got the new six single dot ones. And then I have a set of six more of these in more like primary colors. And there's a black in that set. And that one will be here as well. So we will end up swatching all of these guys, which I'm super excited about. I have been wanting this set in particular for a while. So spoiler alert, I will show you guys the like little dots I set up last night. So there are my dots. I am super excited. The new colors are in the middle and there's these Beautiful, these just muted pastel -y type colors. I compared them to other ones just to really quick, randomly. And yeah, super excited. We're gonna swatch these. I do have like legit swatches in here for various things. This is my Archer and Olive, by the way. So we're gonna do dot pen swatching here. And I have a pen to write the names in for these two. Since these ones are single colors, they don't have the writing end. We're just gonna dot pen them and then write the colors. So these are gonna be the first six colors and I'm very excited about these. I'll say the names and write them out as well. So this one's Pale Moss, and I'll do like a thicker dot and a lighter dot. And these ones are just super cute and muted. I just love it so much. And this one is called Wisteria. And then the pink one is beautiful. It's just a dusty color. It's called Pale Rose, which I would say Dusty Rose. It's just so pretty. And then next we have like a really pale aqua. It's called Pale Turquoise. So uh, I'm pretty accurate on some of these color names here. And then we've got another one that's more of muted aqua. It's called Grayish Green. I love these three in particular. Of course, you guys know I love every color of the rainbow, but aqua and pink are totally my jam. So this is grayish green, right? Grayish green. I, w I wasn't sure if it's greenish gray or grayish green. Grayish green. And then the last one in this set is a neutral. So pretty. This one is called oatmeal, which actually is very accurate beautiful neutral light brown so those are the new six colors so so pretty we'll go ahead and dot the other six ones these are very pastel type colors here so we'll just go with these ones we've got english lavender and yeah make sure i spell this right i think it's er yeah er I don't know, calendar, lavender, all those ones. I don't know if it's A-R or E-R. And I'm like the world's worst speller too. So this one's super light. This one is baby pink. And then we've got powder blue, which again is another really, really light one. We've got butter. It's like you can barely see that. It's definitely a buttery color. And then we've got Peach Bliss, which I think is a really, really pretty soft peach. And then our last single one is labeled Pale Mint. Again, very, very light. All these ones are super duper light. Okay, and now we're gonna do these 12 ones and then I'll do the next set of six that have the two ends on here and I think I guess I'll write with the other end of these two so you can see what the ends look like Let's see this one is hyacinth and this is the one I've swatched before I've swatched this set of 12 and did not know how to spell this one so I'm gonna I'm gonna refer to looking at it to make sure I spell it right and then this one's one of my favorite ones blue bonnet which I love the Texas blue bonnets also, 
You can see the ones that are singles have black ink next to them. And the ones that are dual tipped will have the uh, both ends showing here. Got this neutral, which is called Fawn, which is pretty accurate. And this one's much darker than the oatmeal color. And then we've got Platinum, which is the gray, which I love. I use this one all the time for my content planner. Anything I want a neutral for. Even though these are dual tipped and I love the way the dual tip ones work, I tend to only use the, the dot pen side of these. Candy Pink, which is another one of my favorites. I used this one a lot when it was Valentine's Day time. And then a green that's really pretty. This one is labeled Kiwi. And then this one's like an orangish color that's very strange to me. It's called Island Coral, but it leans very, very red. Like almost like a salmon color. So I don't know if it's very, very corally. This one's called Ocean, another one of my favorites, of course, because it's teal. And then a really pretty yellow, Summer Sun. And then this one's, I was going to say this one's like a blue jean color and it's called Denim. <laughs> Very accurate. And this one is salmon, and this one looks more like bright red to me. And that one looks more salmon to me. And then last but not least, this is called Splash, and it's just more of a, almost a primary blue. It's a really pretty one. And just a note, these are Moxie Life stickers that I taped on there because I use them as Moxie Life colors. There's eight colors in the Moxie Life system, so some of them are marked, and that is not something that comes on the actual pen itself. So there's what those ones look like. I will end up doing the last six right here. I do not have the metallics, and I have no intention of getting the metallics because I have read that they bleed through really, really badly. And this is, you know, a really nice... Archer and Olive bullet journal that you see no bleed through whatsoever, which is good, but I don't want the metallics because I've heard lots of things about them bleeding through even like really nice paper. So I don't plan on getting those ones. We'll cut to when the other ones get here and I'll finish up this swatch. Alrighty, we are gonna finish up this video. I don't have my nails done, we're just going with it today. It has been just hot mess express here lately and I'll have things to tell you guys soon. I meant to get this video posted Monday, but it did not happen. So this is gonna be my Wednesday video and I ended up dotting everything. The blue one messed up on the first pass with it, so I did end up dotting three. And I want to do just little like comparison strips of the main colors that have duplicates. For instance, now we have two grayish toned colors, two neutral toned colors, a few different purples, a few different pinks, that type of thing. So we're gonna go with gray here. We've got the platinum. And then the new gray is called grayish green. 
and it's you know like a, a tealy leaning gray. We also have black that goes kind of in that same little grouping. And some of these newer ones, they're not as soft. It takes a little while to kind of um, wear them down a little bit to make them more soft. So we've got two browns and then one that kind of goes brownish as well. So we've got the color fawn. That's like the nice true brown. The new one that's called oat. What is it called? Oatmeal. This is a lighter version, which I think those two go really, really well together. Now this one's more red leaning. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so that one we're going to do with the red. We've got a red and we also have this one too. So we've got salmon, island coral, and red. And I feel like these ones are very, very similar. So we're just going to do these all in a row. We've got salmon. I'm going to do the red in between these two. This is the real red. You can see it's much darker. Even the salmon still leans very red to me, not very corally or anything. And then this one is the island coral. See, all of those are very, very similar. Like if I was purchasing these as individuals at some place like Jet Pins or Amazon, finding them individually, I would only need one of those. Like I don't see why I would need all three of those because they're very, very similar colors. The browns, I totally see wanting a light brown and a dark brown, but these ones are just way too similar. Let's go yellow next. We've got the summer sun one, which is beautiful. And then butter, which is very, very, very pale and almost like doesn't show up hardly. <laughs> like very, very pale. And I really, really like summer sun. I don't use that yellow hardly ever because it's just so light. So let's move on to greens. We've got a few different greens. I'll do the grayish green in this category too because it does lean a little bit green. And then we also have the other new green. Which one's this? This one is called Pale Moss. So we've got those. We also have a primary green and then lots of teals that we will do separately. But these are the green options. We've got one that is very primary green, just called green. The new ones again, hard to make dots for them. And then we've got the pale moss, which I think is beautiful. And then we've got this green from the first set of single dot pens. This one's called pale mint. This one's very hard to see sometimes too. And then my favorite, which is kiwi. Love that one. And then we'll do grayish green in this group too because it does lean a little bit greenish. So there's lots of greens to choose from. I find that all these lighter ones, like they could be pretty close to interchanged. If you wanted just like a light and dark, the, the pale mint and the kiwi go really nicely together. And then the green is just kind of like an emerald green that doesn't really work that well with the other greens in my opinion. So let's do teal right next to this because uh, some people will like the teals and the greens together. And then we'll do the blues right under it. This is a teal, which I would also stick with blues some. And there's a blue. Okay. So these are the three tealish colors. Again, like the grayish green could totally fit in with these as well. So we've got the blue bonnet. So pretty, that's one of my favorite ones. And then this one is called Ocean. And then this is the new one. This one's the new one called Pale Turquoise. And so they actually work really well together. I like the ocean with the Pale Turquoise actually. I'll put it right next to that one too. I don't think those two go quite as nicely. I don't think those two go as nicely together. All right, so let's go ahead and do the true blues on here. We've got quite a few of those we will work with. All right, we'll start from the light one here. This one is called Powder Blue. It's from that first set of dot pens. And then we've got this one. It's called Splash, but it's more like a cone flower type of blue. And then the denim. And then last but not least, this is the one from that primary type of set. This one's just called Blue. It is very much primary blue. So again, like, if I was looking for a blue and I wanted something that was more of a true blue, I would totally go with that blue from that six set. I don't really use the denim one hardly at all. And then this blue, uh, what's it called? Splash, it leans a little bit purpley. And then the pale blue is just a, or the powder blue is a very nice light baby blue. We'll go ahead and go purple. We've got a few 
purple options to choose from now. Two singles and two double-sided ones. So this one is called Violet. Make sure I'm still on camera. Then this one is called Hyacinth. And they go really nicely together. I like those two together. And then this is the old one. It's called English Lavender. Just a very, very pale purple. And then the new pale purple is called Wisteria. Right there too. So they're different shaded purples. That's more of like a cooler toned purple and a warmer toned purple. This one leans a little bit pinkish. And they go really well together. I'm gonna put this one in between here. That could be a light and dark version of either one of those. And then the English lavender leans a little bit bluish toned. And I don't think it matches those two nearly as well for like a light and dark version of the same thing. I think the new purple goes really, really well for a light and dark version. Oh, we have um, this one. We don't have like really good oranges. <laughs> it's just like this random one that's a little bit peach. I think it's called peach something. Peach Bliss. So that one kind of goes with the yellows, but it's its own thing. I would really like to have like a bright type orange. It looks like an actual fruit. All right, so pinks. This is one of my favorite categories, and I do really like all of these new pinks that I picked up. So we've got one of the new ones. This one is called Pale Rose, which is a beautiful dusty rose color. And I have been really digging this Tabo 817. I'm going to put it down here too. It goes really nicely with that dot pen. And then this pink, baby pink. I just don't like that one nearly as much. And then the one I use all the time here, this one is called Candy Pink. Really like it. Again, very bright, almost a highlighter pink. And then the new one I got is just labeled pink. It's a really nice pink and it looks like it goes really well with um, the Tombow color. So if I wanted to pick like a light and dark for these ones, I would go the regular pink and then the new pink, the dusty, it's not called dusty rose. <laughs> I don't want to call it dusty rose, pale rose. I like those two together. And there you go. There is the color comparisons the best that I could do. I would really like to see some oranges. I would love to even see a mid-tone brown between these or like a, a darker gray in between the black and gray and maybe even a very pale gray that's not leaning green like the greenish gray. And yeah, more aquas. I always love aquas. Anything in the turquoise, aqua, teal type category is great. And I love these purples. I think the purples go really well together. So overall, I'm super happy with the color options now. I think it gives a lot pretty much for everybody unless you really like orange and then you're out of luck. So there you go. There's my swatches. There's my little color comparison. I'm going to hold it up one last time so you guys can see up close really nicely. And that's it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.